For those of you watching this who aren't as familiar with PMDD, think of it this way. Imagine that from now on, for half of each month, you'll no longer have the ability to control your emotions. So during that half of each month, you'll experience extreme mood swings, irritability, anger, conflict with other people. You're gonna feel hopeless, depressed, and just completely out of control. Then when you move into the phase when you finally snap out of it, you're left feeling guilty and ashamed of how you reacted. So you do what you can to make up for it, and then before you know it, you're right back to feeling helpless and out of control. Think about how dealing with this vicious cycle long term would affect your education or your career. How would it affect your parenting, your relationships with your loved ones, the decisions you make on a daily basis? What would you be willing to do in order to stop this from becoming your new reality? An estimated 5.5% of women have been medically diagnosed with PMDD. But what's worse is that an estimated 90% of women who have PMDD either haven't been diagnosed, have been misdiagnosed, or may not even know what PMDD is. If you're watching this, you're clearly familiar, so congratulations, figuring it out is honestly half the battle. As someone who has suffered from PMDD myself, I made it my mission to find a natural remedy that actually makes a difference. After years of trial and error, I'm finally at a point where I've noticed a remarkable difference and I wanna share what's been working for me. So in this series, you'll learn all about the all natural treatment plan that is absolutely changing my life one cycle at a time. With this being the first episode, let's start with the basics. What is PMDD? What are the symptoms? And how you can confirm whether or not you have it. So what is PMDD? PMDD stands for premenstrual dysphoric disorder. It's a severe form of PMS, to say the least, that includes behavioral and physical symptoms that occur in the week or two before you start your period. The symptoms then go away within seven days after you start your period. In addition to the symptoms mentioned at the beginning of this video, other common symptoms include anxiety or tension, reduced interest in friends, work, and other activities, trouble concentrating, fatigue, lack of energy, appetite changes, trouble sleeping or excessive sleeping, feeling out of control, plus your good old common PMS symptoms. Can't forget about those. <laughs> Bloating, breast tenderness, joint or muscle pain, and or a headache. A study conducted in 2013 concluded that women with PMDD are more than twice as likely to plan and attempt suicide than women with moderate to severe PMS. That's a terrifying statistic. Now keep in mind that every woman's PMDD symptoms are unique, so you'll see here that I've crossed out the symptoms that don't apply to me. Now it's not that I don't ever experience these symptoms. In fact, I experience quite a bit of social anxiety, but it doesn't go away after I start my period. Therefore, it doesn't qualify as one of my PMDD symptoms. You follow? As you can see, up until I recently began my newest treatment plan, I was experiencing almost all of the common symptoms and they were destroying all of the great things that I was working so hard to build throughout the rest of the month. Now let me show you how much my symptoms have improved since I started this new treatment plan. As you can see, this treatment plan has drastically reduced the number of symptoms I experience. But in addition to that, it's also reduced the intensity of the symptoms. Sure, I still get a little irritable here and there, but I would honestly rate it as a three or a four out of 10, as opposed to an 11 out of 10, like it was before. If you identify with any of the symptoms I've mentioned, you may be wondering how you can confirm whether or not you have PMDD. I highly encourage you to speak with a doctor to confirm your diagnosis, but please do your research beforehand and find a doctor who's very knowledgeable about PMDD, especially if you have any underlying health conditions. PMDD has been misdiagnosed as bipolar disorder, amongst other things, time and time again due to a lack of awareness and understanding of what PMDD truly is. 
I am not a certified medical professional of any kind, so please always consult your physician regarding any medical treatments, concerns, or conditions. In the meantime, if you want a little bit of temporary clarity, there are several self-diagnosis quizzes online, and some sources say that PMDD is actually self-diagnosable, so I'll include a link to a couple of those self-diagnosis quizzes in the description box, but of course, please keep in mind that you do have to take those results with a grain of salt. Naturally, your next question is, what's the cure? How do I get rid of this thing? Unfortunately, there's not a cure for PMDD yet. Many doctors tend to prescribe either an SSRI, which is an antidepressant, or some form of birth control. And there are a lot of women who choose to take that route. But I personally have heard way too many horror stories about antidepressants and birth control. So I haven't opted to take that route, especially when there are natural treatments out there that may not cure it or may not make you feel 100% better, but they can really help minimize your symptoms without the intense side effects that can come with the antidepressants or birth control. After all the combinations of treatments that I've tried over the years, the combination that I recently began trying has made the most noticeable difference yet, and I'm so excited to share it with you. I provide a full overview of the treatment plan in the next episode, which is linked at the top of the comments section down below. It fascinates me how different the symptoms are for each and every PMDD survivor, so I'd love to learn more about your symptoms. Please type up a quick comment below and let me know what your symptoms are. If you'd like to support this channel, please give this episode a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Those two taps or those two clicks may only take a couple of seconds, but they truly do help me in spreading this message. I appreciate your support and I will see you in episode two.